Hi, it's Julian Meller from propergolfing.com. Um, I've recently, I was on the range here at the Oxfordshire. I was coaching uh, a, a few guys on a one-to-one a a day's course and I was looking down the range and I noticed two or three people doing this um, action in their golf swing that was causing them a massive problem. So the issues they were getting, uh, and I'll show you what what was happening in a minute, they were either hitting the ground way before the ball or topping the ball or blocking the shot which was, they were all right-handed and all the shots were sneaking off to the right. And what I want to do now is I want to show you what was happening, but also I'll explain to you what they were saying to each other that they thought they were doing wrong, which was completely the wrong diagnosis. So what I'm going to do now, I'll just make my normal setup with driver. And as soon as they started to take the golf club back, the left heel stayed really still and all of them, their left knee was bending. And can you see how my weight is now moving forward? So if your knee bends, what's it going to do on the downswing? It's going to straighten back up again. Very rare would you see anybody bend the knee and then stay in this position through impact. They'll always go this way. And without exception, every one of them said to each other, oh, you're lifting your head up, which is absolute rubbish. All that had happened in the, set, in the backswing, because they didn't allow their ankle to move, their knee did what it was designed to do, which is bend. So it's bent forward, and then the, because they're now in front of the golf ball, they've then straightened the knee back up, and in most cases, they were pulling the left foot away from the golf ball and away this way in the backswing. So if I bend my knee on purpose, Okay, uh, so I'm just going to go to the top of my backswing, but I'm going to bend my knee on purpose. Can you see how my height is dropping? So what's called my levels are dropping. So my knee's gone forward, my weight's gone forward. So all that's going to happen now on the way back down, it's going to straighten and it gives this effect of lifting, which is when people say you're lifting your head, but it's absolute rubbish. All that's happened, your knee's bent and it's straightened. So if I show you this from sideways on this way, and then I'll do it from the other angle. So in the backswing, left knee's bent. So hopefully from here you can see how this is sticking out and then all that it's done is straighten back up. So I'll just show you from this side. So the other effect that you're gonna get from here, if your left knee bends, your right leg will straighten. You see how this is happening? So all that's gonna happen now on the way back down is gonna straighten back up. So what I'll do now is I'll hit a shot doing this just to show the effect, but I'm not going to do it very hard, just so you, hopefully so you can pick this up. So nice and smooth, but I'm going to bend my knee, straighten it back up. My weight's moved onto my right foot. I've actually slightly topped the ball and it's not gone anywhere. And then everybody was saying, you're lifting your head up. So what's the cure? What is the cure? So we we do want to transfer your weight to the right. If you allow your ankle to move nice and freely, your knee will now move inwards rather than bend forwards. Now you'll be able to transfer your weight to the right side. So what's called your levels will stay much more constant. And then as we strike it, we'll turn and then your, your head will just appear to be straightening up once we've hit the golf shot. So I'm going to do this wrong again, so I'm going to bend the knee, straighten, and there's that horrible top shot, driven the golf ball into the ground, it's gone about 40 yards, uh, and it just looks a terrible golf shot. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to allow my right hip, right shoulder to turn right, my ankle's mobile, my knee is now moving behind the golf ball rather than in front of it, so I can transfer my weight properly. Nice and relaxed in your setup. Simple turn right, simple turn left, and there's that beautiful golf shot that we're all looking for. But all I've really done is move my body efficiently one way and the other. It's nothing to do with lifting the head. So if you find yourself topping the golf ball, hitting behind the ball, hitting sometimes pulls or even big blocks, have a look, you know, video yourself, have a look at it. Just see if you're making this common mistake that I see so many golfers do, especially on the range here at the Oxfordshire. So into good setup, simple turn right, simple turn left, and then we're gonna hit those 
lovely golf shots. Um, so this is a really pretty quick fix. Uh, you know, you can do it with the club across your shoulders just to practice, do it in front of a mirror or video yourself. Make sure you're transferring your weight right, then back to the left. Then I'm certain that you're gonna hit the ball so much more consistently. Now, a little bit of breaking news for you guys who, uh, who are interested in some of the things that we're doing here at Proper Golfing. Uh, next year, I've decided to get my golf clubs out. I'm gonna play in some senior events. There's about between seven or eight over the course of the year. Uh, and I'm gonna dedicate some time to, to practice a little bit over the winter. I'm gonna, gonna get fit. I'm gonna work on a little bit of speed training just to keep up with, uh, with some of them. Uh, and we're gonna give it a go. I used to play a lot of golf and the, one, a good friend of mine, Richard Fletcher, has inspired me to, to get my clubs back out next year. So I'll put some work in, play in a few tournaments. I'll let you guys know what's happening. Um, if nothing else, it, if I play good or bad, it doesn't really matter, but I'm gonna, there's gonna be some fabulous learning from it one way or the other. So if I'm not helping myself, I'm gonna help you guys uh, improve your golf. So uh, I'll keep you all posted, but uh, I'm looking forward to getting them back out again next year and just seeing if if I can talk the talk as well as just um, you know give information here on YouTube. Now again, if you're really serious about your golf game, you should be signing up to propergolfing.com. It's a structured training library where you can really learn your golf swing in a, in a, in a a structured way rather than trying bitting and bobbing going from one YouTube to the next it's all structured uh, there's hundreds of videos in the library section not only uh, do you get instant access to that you'll also get monthly coaching sessions with me and you'll also get a weekly invite to a zoom webinar that I host which is fabulous we've got people from all over the world who join in and share their stories and their information and we're just um, we're here to make people's uh, golf that much more enjoyable and proper golfing is doing Doing that. Now again if you like this video please drop a comment in the box below It'd be very interesting to hear how you get on with it and uh, if you've got any questions about your golf don't hesitate to drop me a line. Thanks for watching guys bye.